Yo, what's going on, Sexy Sam Lander Squad? We're doing a ranked 1v1, and I am playing Chalk. And the reason I'm playing Chalk is because he got a buff, too. Kind of a buffs day, I guess, with the Sir Cat. But um, his one, which is his Thunder Strike, is it got 10 damage increase, uh, a, ba a 10 base damage increase, which means he's better in the early game. Uh, I don't know why he needed that, but, you know, he has it now. <laughs> Uh, and then on top of that, he got kind of a massive change to his three. So now anyone in his three has their protections reduced by 10%. I'm sorry, not their, not their protections. Has their power reduced by 10%. So basically you're going to be in your, in your little Healy form. Which, by the way, you already have attack speed reduction on it. And you have a slow on it. But now... They're also just going to do less damage. <laughs> like, just, it's, it's just that simple. They're just going to do less. It's stupid, but that is the way it is. Hello? Hello? I might as well clear wave. I was going to go for the kill, but I think it's a little risky. Alright. That should be fine. That healing is crazy strong, though. I'm just going to back. I'm just going to back. He'll probably go red buff here. Yeah, it looks like he went red buff. Um, yeah, there he is. Damn. Almost caught him. Not quite, almost. It's crazy how much lifesteal Anubis has just built in, dude. Isn't it? Can I have that? Thank you. <laughs> I didn't really, uh, you rock. <laughs> I stole his buff and he said, you rock. Oh, I'm just going to alt that. I don't want to mess with, I don't want to mess with any Anubis alt. Never mind. I guess I don't have to deal with Anubis alts. So his ult is down, my ult is down. I'm gonna get this blue buff, and then I will be slightly ahead. Ever so slightly. By the bare minimum. By the bare minimum. He got a full divine already. Kind of a ballsy play, isn't it? Oh no, I want it. Oh, I got him. Alright, I'm getting crappied on. Oh, he's not chasing. Okay. He ran because I guess Horn Shard scared him. The good old Horny Shard. The auto run. Can I auto run, please? No worries, man. We will soon. We'll run it back soon. All right, I got four stacks on the transcendent. So he went divine. I mean, divine is a very strong item, but he doesn't have a huge amount of sustainability with that item. I kind of want to level my three. Is that dumb as heck? No, I mean, the healing per tick is good. I don't know where he is. Oh, he's waiting for an item, I guess. Instead of running from that, I should have just used my three and fought. Oh my god. 
Okay. Okay. Not horrible. That's good damage. An extra 170. Are you lodging yourself over here? He's not. All right. Red buff for free. Red buff for free. And I got a little bit of extra healing now that I'm maxing my three. Uh, my one does 300 damage. I'll take it. He does have stun, so I need to be a little careful. Ouch. Big beads. Big beads on his part, honestly. Ow. He probably has alt. I have alt too, though. I'm so scared. I feel like I'm going to turn a corner and just get clobbered. Alright, I'm just going to back. I'm just going to back. I'm just going to play it safe. Go with Genji's. Get some potions. Head back out. Plus, I do more damage with my one anyways. And I take less damage with my three up. So, taking less and doing more leads to earlier defense being better. I, yeah. I don't know where he is. Never mind. I know where he is. I missed. Where are the treasure chests? I don't think I've seen one all game. They might be in that corner. Yeah. They have to be in that corner. I'll clear wave and then I'll go get them. Unless he already got his. Look at that, dude. I took like no damage. I took like no damage from his initial 1-3 combo. I'm very not scared of him. He already did get his treasure chest. I'm the one that's lacking and didn't get mine. I guess I should go beat stick next item. Okay. It's not there either. I just don't know where the treasure chests are. They're just gone. I don't know. I have no idea where they are. You were you were there? How dare you? No! Oh my god. I didn't have Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. It was so close. Oh it was so close. <laughs> it was so close. Damn it. I didn't have what I needed. Sorry, I'm playing like Loki. You're good, bro. You're not even playing like Loki. You're doing what Anubis does, which is basically just WQ wave, lifesteal off of it, and then go get the next wave. It's just Anubis. I... Yeah. All right, fully stacked transcendence. Almost have a beat stick. Probably after this blue buff and the XP camp. I I should maybe. Oh, hello. Fine. I missed. All right. He got the gold, I got the XP. That's an even trade. I'll let it slide. 
All right, beat stick for me. What seems to be a spear for him. Oh, this is going to be crazy. This is going to be a crazy game. Perfect. Perfect. I get a little bit of anti-heal and all of a sudden he can't play the video game. Boy picked. You know what's interesting that I just thought of? What if... Because towers are targetable by abilities. Obviously some abilities, right? Like Yamoja's stun. If that's the case, I wonder if raining under a tower as Chalk 3 actually lowers the damage of the tower by 10%. Or if it doesn't matter because towers technically don't have power. And I'm not lowering that I'm not lowering how much damage I take, I'm lowering how much power they have. Which lowers how much damage I take, you know, by default, but like if they don't have power and they just do damage, then, you know, Dude, I feel kind of invincible. I feel kind of invincible right now. I mean, Diamond 3 and GM is... It's like a fair pairing. It's relatively fair. Like being mid diamond. If you're try if you're mid diamond, you're obviously trying to get the masters, right? And I think the only time it's not fair for a GM to fight somebody, in my opinion, is platinum three or lower. Plat one, plat two, like plat two and up, you're obviously trying to get to masters so you have to fight the best to become the best that's just how it works man you got to do that in anything actually i want serrated dude i'm a, I'm a serrated fanboy recently i don't know if you guys have noticed but i've i've bought serrated on pretty much every physical god i play because that item is goaded and i'm pretty sure it just got nerfed too right Plan. Oh my god. I'm doing so much damage, dude. Alright, he's spawning. Run away. I heal a lot as Chalk. I mean, the, the... I did not mean to do that. The three is healing quite a bit. It heals for 28. How many times does it tick? Every half a second, and it lasts for how long? Six seconds. So 12 ticks of 28 he uh, health. That's 300 health. Am I insane? That is over 300 health. No. 28 times 12. You heal 336 health with Chalk's heal. And that doesn't need to be nerfed. Oh my god. 
That's insane. No other healer heals that much. Hell's three heals for like 180. Chang'e's three heals for like 220. Ixchel's three or two or whatever is the healy one. Heals for like not that much. I don't know. That's just stupid, dude. I'm dead. There's a good Aegis on his part. Also, I wasn't paying attention. Clearly, I was W keying. <laughs> like, I, I ran under Phoenix for no reason. But the, my point stands. That heal is ridiculous, right? Like, I'm not insane. Terra's three doesn't heal that much. Ra's three doesn't heal that much. Your middle tower is under attack. Right? I have to check. I, I I have to go win the game because I have to check. It's, I'm going to lose my fucking mind if I don't check. Your middle tower has been I'm going to absolutely lose my mind. What's my cooldown at? 20%, 30%. Yep. I'm chilling. I'm chilling cooldown wise. I think I'm just going to go do Bull Demon. Might show up. It will probably show up. If he does, I'm just gonna fight him instead. I'm pretty sure. You are not going to kill me through that. So I have I have 1900 health, 1930, and I press 3. Well, I guess I have pots ticking and life steal and everything, so I shot straight up the max health, but still. That's so stupid. That is so dumb. He heals more than healers. And now he does more damage and lowers how much damage he takes. What a wild ride. He does have a wrap, but he missed. Alright. Big mitigation. I missed. Frickin' nugget clock. No! Oh, yeah, baby. Let's go. I got a little too hyped over that. I'm, I apologize. <laughs> I was very hyped. GG gamer. Yeah, Chalk's buff is... That's good. Now, I have to go look. I have to, I have to go look. I can't not look. All right, excuse me. Let's look. Um, can I type in healer? No, doesn't work. Let's just look at heals. All right, like Ixchel, her two is a heal, 180. That's not 338. Um, Aphrodite, what does your three do? You're literally a healer, right? 19 plus two per level. So 40, 59. Times six. What is 59 times six? Calculator. 59 times six. That is divided by 59 times six. 340 or 354. So she heals 15 more health as a literal healer. Heals 15 more health than Chalk with a longer cooldown, by the way. So, you know, noted. Um, what, I mean, RTO is kind of a healer, but like kind of a bad one. Baron has a big heal with his two. That only heals 130. That's pretty bad. Um, it heals 5% of your missing health too, but you know, whatever. Chang'a's heal. Yeah, 200. That's horrible. Hell's heal. 
I, uh, light heal, light self heal. 105 plus 6.5 per level. What is that? What is 605 per level? I mean, uh, I don't even have to think, right? Because it's 65 times 2. That's 130. So that's 245 health. That's dog shit. Um, who else is a healer? It's crazy, man. It's crazy. I mean, I suppose that I am comparing a self heal with an AOE team heal in their defense. So let's look at someone who has a self heal. Well, like, like I said, RTO, but I mean, her healing is not that good. It's only 100. And in this, it's. 22 per tick, which takes five times, I believe. So not that great. Uh, Kamazots, his healing got really nerfed. Hades' heal maybe is good. 80 healing per detonate. And you can detonate a maximum of three, right? Well, you can detonate. You get the healing for a maximum of three, but you get the life seal for all six of a wave. So it's not as good as... Chalk's heal. Granted, Chalk's heal is taken Hades' instant, so you never know. Um, Oleron's heal, is that very good? 30 per tick. Uh, every second for 5 seconds, that's only 150. Hercules' heal. Hercules' heal is based on how much damage he takes, and it's returned. So, I would say arguably Hercules' heal is normally about 250. Um, Raw's heal. Let's look at Raw's heal. 60 per tick, and it ticks six times. That is three. That is... That is good. And it is AoE. It's not as good as Aphrodite's. But also, Aphrodite's is only like... It's a single target AoE, you know? Like, it's not... It's not... A full team AoE. Like, Raw's heal is probably one of the best. It's 360 health AOE. Okay, so Ra's probably one of the best healers in the game. I don't know why I'm still recording. I'm sorry. I just kind of got caught up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, y'all, peace.